Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson here, and we are once again going to talk about the crop of all crops, my wheat crop. One quick note before we begin. You'll notice that I'm Movembering. Please, if you are a male over 50, get your PSA test done. A few years back, I had my PSA test done, and guess what? I think it saved me from what could have been a really awful way to die, and probably die too early. It's a simple test. It's the best technology we have. If you're over 50 and male, get it done. That's all there is to that story. All right, now let's talk about wheat. And we're into November now, the middle part of November. We're pretty much wrapped up. Where did we get to in terms of wheat acres in Ontario? Yeah, I'm quite pleased on one hand and really disappointed on the other. So we're just over 600,000 acres of wheat, 610, 615,000 acres. And given the fall that we've had, that's amazing. A few years ago, 10 years ago, we would have only had 400,000 acres of wheat. But growers here, they know the value of the wheat crop and they want to plant wheat. And so we got to just over 600,000. Unfortunately, that's only about half or slightly over half. We had intentions for a million or maybe even a million one, a million two. So that tells you how tough the fall was. So what about the tough fall and where are we at? Well, now I get a ton of questions. Is my wheat crop okay? So you can see that this wheat field it looks like it isn't even planted into wheat. But when you get down and you start to dig, then all of a sudden you can see that yes, indeed, we do have the wheat plants here. And we don't see them at all. Many growers have just planted the last week of, or pardon me, the first week of November. And that is a huge thank you to AgriCorps for extending the deadline that seven days because it gave us that opportunity to plant and still get winter kill insurance. Lots of producers though, they say, well, it didn't germinate it. I don't see any roots on it. And you can see on these seeds that, you know, we're looking at just nice little seeds with, with a very, very small sprout and just a little bit of root. So is that seed okay? That seed is absolutely fine. Wheat's a pretty interesting crop. As long as it imbibes, it's a base zero crop. So if the soil isn't frozen, it takes in water, it starts the germination process. As soon as it starts the germination process, it will vernalize. That means it'll head out next year. The wheat crop will be fine. Not worried at all, even if you don't see the sprout. I've frost seeded wheat into December. I've even done it in January. It's always okay. So get over that, that is it going to be okay? The only place it's not okay is where it's already had too much water. And so we have some fields out there that are already looking like tile run wheat, where we have wheat over the tiles, nothing in between. If you get the chance this fall, get out there where the, where the wheat seed is rotted, make sure it rotted, because many of those places it's just wet and the wheat's just slower to come up, it's still okay. But if it actually rotted, frost seed and get that wheat into the ground at least an inch deep through the frost. You'll need minus four, minus five, crank the seeding rate, two million seeds per acre or more, and let's see if we can't make that into a wheat crop come next spring. Mm -hmm. 